There. So welcome to class. It's Thursday, September 17th, and we got a very mellow and focused mission today, so you might enjoy it. Um, you, let's see, last night you handed in your first written homework, and just judging, I wanted to give you a chance, and you've done some of the XYZ homework, and you did a little more that you submitted last night. So I just want to give you another chance before we go on. If you have any questions, concerns, problems with the XYZ homework, let me hear them. I mean, I'm answering your questions individually, but if there's anything odd that doesn't sound right, let me know. Still admitting. There is, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Go ahead. There is one thing that I kind of concerned about. So sometimes when you answer a question and it's partially correct, it'll turn yellow, but it won't because other online stuff I've done, it'll like kind of say like, you know, oh, this is, you know, here's a hint why it doesn't do that for the system. Uh, it's true in that sense that it's marking you whether you're right or wrong. Now you do get feedback after you answer the whole question, are you saying they're not giving you any feedback at all or? They're not giving you any feedback at all if you get it partially right. Ha, huh. okay, that's a good one. I have to, I'll have to look at that and see what's happening. Now, if you're working on something you want burning feedback after, you, after the assignment's over, can always redirect me to that problem because I can. Someone else asked this question in another form. I can see what you did while you're what you do while you're doing it and what you did after the fact. So if you said to me, "Oh no, that question's wrong. It can't be right." Uh, can you check that? So I've checked a couple and see what's wrong or what's right. I haven't seen the system make any errors yet that way. Okay, I'll look and see what kind of feedback they're giving you. Thank you. I can show you what feedback we get. Um, well, you're welcome if to. You get, if you get the problem entirely incorrectly, like do it the full three times, they'll tell you what the answer is and how to get the answer. Right. Yeah but you have to get it completely wrong and then get try another similar question. I wrote down like every time I'll write down what the feedback is so I can understand the question better. Good so idea. Good idea. Try that and let me do some experiments after we get out of here over the weekend see what kind of feedback it's giving you. Okay, but that's a good suggestion. Write down what it's telling you after you get something right or wrong. Okay, anything else you noticed? Now, you guys also handed in a written homework last night and I collected those and I'm processing those. And, and you did a pretty good job of almost always submitting PDFs. If, if you didn't submit a PDF, I just sent you a reminder, you know, we want PDF. Try to name them the way that I asked you to name them. You know, with last name, first name, homework number and the reason why is I just and then you know math 119 W and then FA 810 or 870 
whichever section we're in, which appears to be 870, excuse me. You know, if I get a file uploaded that says, you know, BDAC92470, dot jpeg it's an issue if i don't know who that came from now i do know who it comes from from the dropbox the dropbox collected your name if you wrote your name in it which you probably were forced to but after i get all the files down and they're all a bunch of files in my folder i have trouble if you don't tell me exactly who it's from Here's another problem I noticed, not in your class, but in another class. You know, I get a file with even goofy name or right name, but then I open it up and on the paper, there's no name. So please write your name on the paper as well. And the reason is if something goes like horribly wrong, at least you got your name on your paper. And I'm not looking at a blank paper. So I had in another class, handful of papers without names and I could puzzle out where they came from eventually and I might know your handwriting after a while but do write your name on your paper just to keep it straight do name it as I suggested in the syllabus so someone pointed that out that they forgot where that was it's in the syllabus so I wrote that down and do you know get bright lighting when you take an image of your work but you know on the whole you did that well and i'm still reading the papers you know they could be right or wrong but you look like you did things mostly well now what i'm going to do over this weekend before our next session is i'm going to create a folder for each one of you it's a google drive folder and i'm only going to give you the link to your folder and then I will upload there your graded papers after I write comments on stuff. I'll upload your graded papers. I'll upload your grade report. And then every week you'll say, okay, that's what my grade is right now, or that's what I did. And you should double check, you know, that I'm getting the right numbers out of XYZ homework, but that seems to be pretty easy to collect the numbers out of XYZ homework. So from my side, it's going as expected relatively smoothly but if you see bumps like you suggested the feedback question you can bring them to me and i'll investigate what's happening okay um professor um go, before go we ahead. go on to the actual lesson um on in our last session did we go over set memberships at all give me an example um that's kind of thing because the XYZ asked about set memberships and I couldn't find anything in the book about it. In what section did the XYZ ask that? Because then we'll look it up. 2.5. 2.5. So I will, let's go into XYZ homework and take a look. So we're going to go to web browser and, uh, uh, and good. So I'm going to show you things while we're here web browser uh, week three now you you notice already when you look at the homework section of week three that you have a new homework that you can do a new written homework here and it's about absolute value stuff and today we'll and then on the second page of this I asked you to graph some things so today we'll show you how to graph these things uh, now let's go back. I can guess what you're saying and I just want to see it. Also notice this, after you submitted that first homework this morning, I just put up an answer to the first homework. So you had the first homework, which is about heart rate and filling in a table, something like that. And then after you handed it in, I just put up how I would have done it if you want to check. When you get your paper back, then you can say, oh, that, that's how I could have done it, or, oh, that's a different way to do it. You know, you and I could both be doing it absolutely right. We just had a different approach. So you can always look at the way I did it just to get another idea or to check what you should have done or could have done. And then you can also use these examples that I fill in the answers. You can 
you know, use them for studying too before tests come up. But let's go. Why well, doesn't want to go backwards? Okay, got it. So let's go to the XYZ homework system and you said section two five. <clears throat> 